Good morning again and welcome to Doing Life with Itsy on a Bitsy Budget. Today we will be making an icebox cake. It's a family recipe. My dad used to make it for us and wake us up in the middle of the night to eat it. It was great fun and it is a good easy way to have a dessert that you make well in advance. Um, let's go on in the kitchen and get started. Okay, we'll start off by putting on my apron because I'm a mess in the kitchen. Let's get this on and then we will learn how to make this icebox cake. It will have to sit in your icebox um, so it gets soft and you can eat it, but it is good. All right, let's get started. Let's see what we need. We need regular granulated sugar. Now, some people use um, powdered sugar when they make a whipping cream, but I like granulated for this. Um, just any type of vanilla, pure extract is what I use. You, um, a measuring a fourth of a cup is usually what I put in of sugar, so I have that. Any type of spatula. I use um, any type of chocolate wafer cookies. Um, these are some leftover ones from the last time. You can make as, I made this, you can make as much or as little as you want. They're just very thin chocolate, dark chocolate cookies. Famous is a brand, um, but that's just what I use. Okay, also you're gonna need a glass dish. Sometimes I do these in individual little cups if I'm going to have a dinner party. They turn out great. They're so beautiful when you get done. I'm just going to make a small cake, not a double batch, but we'll use this pan so you can see it good. So just a uh, glass dish. This is my mixer, and let me pull it out here so I can utilize it. Um, what I use for my whipping cream is a whipping attachment like this one. So you're just going to put that on and pour everything in. So, oops, I forgot to get my heavy whipping cream. Just All right, um, you can use any brand of heavy whipping cream, but it does need to be heavy. Um, let's see. What I usually do, now this is not going to be measured, um, but this is a, well, let me get on my glasses because I can't see a thing. That's why you see glasses all over my house. Um, 32 ounces, it's one quart, and uh, hopefully I'll... Um, just pour a whole thing of this in for one box of cookies. And just put it all in your mixer. The whole container? The entire thing. You're going to dump everything in. I'll put this over here for the garden. Okay, then you're just going to put in a fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. Just pour that in. A little bit OCD so I gotta close everything up. Then vanilla. I got this when I was um, on vacation in Mexico. Works great. Big bottle. And about a teaspoon. So what I usually do for a teaspoon and I'm not sure if it is a teaspoon but it's my teaspoon. I just put a cap full in. Let me wipe that off just a minute. Here we go. We're gonna mix this up. To start with you, anytime you put a liquid in a powerful mixer like this, or any mixer, I'm sure, you want to do it at a very slow speed to start with. And it's going to get a little bit thick. Now, if you wanted this really light white, for some reason you were going to use it in a different dessert, I don't really mind. You can buy vanilla extract that's clear. Sometimes I use that in my icing when I make a cake. But as you can see, if you can get in there, Jennifer, it's just turning around a little bit. To make whipping cream so easy, all you have to do is just beat it. Beat heavy whipping cream. All right, we'll take a break and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, um, this still gets a little messy, just so you know. You can see where it splashes. But once you get it at a good, thick consistency for this. Now, if you were making the um, whipping cream for... Uh, strawberry shortcake, you might not want it as thick, but I like this thick so that it stays between the cookies good and um, it'll seep into those cookies and make them soft, like almost like a ice cream sandwich. But let's, here's how we're gonna do it. Let me see if I can angle this where she can get a good shot. So you open up your box of cookies and I did get this little cup because I'm gonna make you one individual one. And it cuts beautiful. When you cut this, it is so nice and so easy. 
so you've got your whipping cream. When you start your stack, usually I do two stacks in this container. And um, so I, I'm going to put mine down the middle because I'm only going to do just one. I'm not, I don't have anybody to really serve it to but us, so I don't need that much. Hold on just a minute and I'll show you how to start. Okay, so I position my um, heavy whipping cream. Again, it's thick. I position that near my container. And when I start the first one, there's a front to this cookie and a back. And I'm not sure you can see, but the back is flatter. So just so I like it looking nice, I start it with this part showing. The rounded side. And all you do with this is start stacking it. Hold on, let me move the cookies up. So you're going to get one, then you're going to put the flat with it. Then you're going to get more. Put the flat edge with it. Now sometimes when I get these cookies, kind of look at your package because they're so thin that they crack. And um, you can still use them and I use the ends and I'll show you how. So what I start is I start this. Now normally, like I said, I've got one row here and one row there. So it's easier to stand up against. But I just continue on putting a dab in and push it so it comes up to the top. Put your dab on push it so it comes to the top and you just keep on going but remember to look at the box of cookies because you don't want all cracked ones it'll be too hard to work with take a lot more time and you continue on now that you got the hang of that I'm going to show you how to start off making an individual one then I'll finish this and we'll come back with the end product with what you do in the end. So if you're doing the individual one because you're having a dinner party, you put your dab a little bit in until it's... A dab or a dab? Whatever. <laughs> and you put it in enough where this first cookie is going to sit right on top of it. So it depends on your container how much you put in. And then you just keep going. It's so easy and so good. And when they cut into this, it's striped like a zebra. When this is ready, you've got to let it sit all day long or overnight. And tomorrow I'll come back on. In the icebox or on the counter? No, in the, in the icebox. I'll show you when we get done. So what I do is that on these. Then I cover it a little bit, adding some more whipped cream in the edges. So, for us Push younger generation, is uh, Icebox the refrigerator or the freezer? Okay, it is the refrigerator. Then get one of the broken cookies, and I'll show you what you can do. Just this little crack thing. Just crack yourself some. Make it look real pretty, and then you're done. So, you cover that with saran wrap, which we'll cover at the end, and put it in the refrigerator, and tomorrow it'll be great, or tonight for dinner it'll be great. When you cut into it, you're going to see lines. It's so pretty. All right, I'll continue with this. Once I get it done, then we'll turn back on the video. Okay, I've used a half a box of my cookies. And so I'm going to go ahead and do another row. I've scoot, scoot, moved this over to half of it. And, I, and so one of these containers will do a whole box of cookies, and it makes two rows. All right, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, here we go again. So we've got actually this one box of cookies. I have two left and it made two rows. And I still have enough of my heavy whipping cream because we're gonna cover that. And that's what I wanted you to see. So what I'll do is I'll start piling my leftover on. Now, these will swell. The cookies swell and they get soft in the refrigerator. And so what I do is I kind of pile it up and I just, I'm messy. I just cover it all up. Cover the cookies good because um, they'll absorb all this. And just paint it on any way you can. You could actually on the top use a, um, a pastry bag with an attachment like you do for icing. And we're going to make a cake one day and I'm going to ice it. I'm, I'm going to teach you how to do a easy cake to make for dessert that's coming up but all right i covered this up good i just use it all no matter how much i got left it only makes it better and you can do this recipe with no um 
sugar in it. You don't have to have the sugar. Um, it can be a little bit more low calorie. Then I kind of just take my spatula and move it around so it's got some little lumps in it. Because when you do that and you put your cookies on the top, which I just take these and I start making a mess. You know, this would be a great dessert to teach a teenager or somebody eight or nine or years old on up because it, it would um, make them be a part of making um, your meal and teaching them some good skills in the kitchen. So just put these on. And sometimes if you've got a lot of crumbs, let me dry, let me wash this off and dry, I'll show you. My hands were a little bit wet, but if you take just the wrapper they came in, smash it down and get it real, fine and then just take that wrapper and dust it a little bit see how that makes a difference and doesn't that look pretty to serve so if you had to put this on you could dress up this a little bit clean it up like this and put it on your table but you can also um, slice it and put it on individual in individual little dishes and serve that I'm gonna get the saran wrap out hold on just a second what you do is you just take a piece of saran wrap. I might need two. This stuff does not like me. And I cover this very lightly because you don't want to smash anything of your prettiness there. You want it to look nice when you're serving it. So if you're doing the individual ones, which are a big hit, I just kind of do it real loose. Now, if you don't cover it in your refrigerator, it will yellow. So I'm giving you a tip on that. I have one other tip I'm going to do in just a second. So all you would do with this, hopefully my refrigerator's not a mess, usually it's not, is take this and put it right in there and in about four hours, that's about how long my dad would let us sleep and wake us up, you can just cut it. We will cut it and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Too bad you're not here to eat it with me. My last tip for you. If you don't have one of these, they are great. They're frothers for your coffee. You just hold that down and it takes heavy whipping cream or whatever kind of cream you're using and it frosts it. A lot of time people like that in their coffee. If you are serving a dessert for yourself or just two people, um, you can just take a little bit of that heavy whipping cream, put it in a coffee cup, swish it around like this and you've got whipped cream. And so you can put that on top of a piece of pound cake with some strawberries for strawberry shortcake. But anytime you need just a little bit, just remember, if you have one of these in your kitchen, they are great. It's one of the favorite tools that I have. All right, we're going to see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for me, please. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.